Welcome to my underwater world. That's me in the ocean for the very first time. This summer I had an awesome adventure and I thought I'd bring you along to show you what I've learned. I guess you can say this video is about me. This is a picture of me and my dad in front of where we stayed. If I had one word to describe my dad, it would be frogman. This is a picture of my sister, Katie. She's awesome. This is my other sister, Mary. She's annoying and makes me want to do this. <coughs> this is my stepmom, Cheryl. She's super fun. She taught me how to boogie board this summer in Florida. It was super awesome. This is a picture of us just before our first day at Laguna Park. And that's me in the water ready to go. The water here is a bit murkier than I expected, but little did I know I was about to see my first octopus. Octopus are very shy and won't hurt you unless they feel threatened. I was so excited, I couldn't wait to take another look. As I got closer and closer to the bottom, I saw a scallop, gagfish, and even a blowfish. He looks cute and harmless now, but if he felt threatened, it inflated itself into a ball covered with prickly spines. If it stung you, it could cause paralysis or even death. I continued my journey into the great unknown, and hidden among the rocks, I found a sea urchin. These spiny creatures eat coral, kelp, and other plant life. Their spines can be shot at you if you get too close. Next, I found a stone crab hidden in the rocks. These unique creatures blend into the rock around them. Like all crabs, they have an exoskeleton, like an ant. We swam around the rocks some more, but then I decided to go in the open water. I didn't see much, but then something caught my eye crawling along the bottom. I'd never seen anything like it before. All I could say is that it looked just like a centipede. Turns out, I was right. This is a saltwater centipede, also called a bristle worm. Believe it or not, they have sharp teeth that helps them eat clams, fish, and coral. This centipede found a tiny hole in the sandy bottom, folded up its legs, and then went down inside. I was headed to the surface again when I saw something that caught my attention. I wasn't sure what it was at first, but when I took a closer look, I saw a pair of eyes. That's when I knew it was a stingray. I tried to keep my distance because under that tail is a spine that can be used as a weapon and they are fatal. Eventually, it got spooked and swam away. After the stingray swam away, my dad started pointing. I couldn't figure out what he was pointing to until, just below me, I saw a shark. It was a nurse shark, a big one too. It was so cool. We stayed with him as long as we could before he swam away. After all that 
excitement, my dad and I thought we'd do some cleanup on the reef. It's sad how much trash people leave behind. I had a super cool adventure and I had lots of fun showing you all the stuff I saw on my vacation. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Until next time, be safe and we'll see you out there.